and we'll get as much of this in as possible. Whatever we don't finish, we will have on video. So let me get you your stamp, and we'll move on. Now let's look at what we're doing today is a do now problem. We're recording. And the problem was if hydrogen ion concentration, this is number one in the do now, is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 5, then to find the minus log, which is what, we, what we're doing to find the pH of the hydrogen ion concentration, we simply take literally the value of the exponent, change the sign, and that becomes the log. So when all you have is a power of 10 and no number out here, this gets really easy. Really, really simple. When this guy has a value other than 1, then we're going to need a log table. And I gave you a log table as you walked in today. And that log table, I hope I have here, I do. And this is what we're going to use for all the other types of problems where we have that, that little issue. And do not confuse these numbers with the exponents. Okay? These numbers are simply numbers. Okay? They are not a power of 10. And when we get to a power of 10 that is equal to 1, 10 to the 1 power, or 10 to the 0 power, 10 to the 0 power is going to be a 1 in logs. I'm sorry, 10 to the 1 is a 0. 10 to the, two, uh, 10, 10 to the 0 is a 1, or a 0 here. 10, because this is 1 times 10 to the 1, that is then when I take the log of that, that's going to be a 1. So these guys are always going to be fractional amounts. So when we're doing this, here's how we want to run the problems. We look at whatever the value is out front, and we're going to treat those guys like we did with homework problem 9b. In problem 9b, we had 3.0 times 10 to the minus 6. Do I have that number right? Any of you who did your homework? Is this the right number for 9b? Have I got it right? 9b. 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 Isn't that the value? Oh, 19. 19. Yeah. This is 19b. Okay. Okay, so first thing we do we know what the log of 10 to the minus 6 is, correct? So we're going to start with that. 10 to the minus 6 is 6. Then we're going to take the log of this guy, and we're going to subtract it. So the log of 3, we look on the chart, and we see that that's 0.48. Are we good? 0 0.48 is going to be subtracted from this guy. And we get a 2 and a 5 and a 5. 5.52, which is equal to the pH. Because this guy was the hydrogen ion concentration. And the little brackets here with the ion in the middle, that tells you we're looking at concentration. And what is concentration? What's the letter for concentration? Big M. Big M. And big M is what over what? M is equal to moles over liters. Okay? So in this case, this would be 3.0 times 10 to the minus 6 moles per liter. Okay, that's the concentration, and we just change that to a pH by taking the minus log of that concentration. 
the three came from the log table or went to the log table to give us this number. All right. Am I making sense? I hope. Okay. What you want to do, what you most definitely want to do today, is when you get home, find this chart online in today's homework page. There's a link for it. I originally told you to print this, but I decided to give it to you instead. And, hello, folks. When you get this, you want to immediately, online, when you get it online, the reason you want it online is so you can, you can click on these instead of having to put those things in because nine times out of ten you won't put them in right. <laughs> you get something wrong and it just takes forever to do a, a link this way. So if you just can come in and click it, you'll go straight to the ones that you want. Okay? That'll get you through the day stuff. Thank you.